Welcome back to the Axon Files, guys. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to program in Heron's formula into your TI-84 or TI-83. So let me show you by executing the program. As you know, Heron's formula is a very long and tedious uh, for formula, so we can quicken the process by just programming it into our calculators. For this triangle, let's take a basic 3-4-5 right triangle, which um, its area would be 6. So we uh, plug in the side values, 3, 4, and 5. And our program shows not only the answer, but also it shows what our answer squared is for triangles that are less clean, if you will. Okay, so I have cleared the calculator. If at any point in this video you find yourself getting a little behind, be sure to check the key press history down here so you can catch up. Now let's start programming. First we click the program button, and then we go over to new. Let's create a new program, and let's name it Heron. So um, I would recommend using the alpha lock by pressing second alpha and just typing it in our formula name. H-E-R-O-N. R-O-N. So we start off by prompting the user for input. We click program again, and then click, uh, scroll over to the I-O, and then click the number two. So we prompt for the variables A, and be sure to put a comma in between, B, and C. Okay, so this will basically ensure that the calculator asks for these values. Next, we perform the operation A plus B plus C over 2 in order to get S, as you know, it's in the real formula. A plus B plus C. And put this in parentheses because if not, the calculator can get confused. And you'll often find that if without parentheses, the calculator will input something or output something very different. So divided by 2. And we store this as S. As you know, the actual formula goes s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting that formula onto our calculator. So s in parentheses s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus C. Okay, so we'll store this entire operation as the variable D. And next, we click enter and go to program, scroll over, and then press 3 or disp or display. So this will display whatever we want it to. So let's display the square root of D. This is basically our, this is our actual area. Okay, now that we have uh, displayed the variable uh, d and the square root, square rooted it, we can click enter again and display again. And basically, what we have to do is uh, type in or uh, this. What we're gonna do is type in or the square root of and then square the square root of d, which will give us like root seventy two, for example. Uh, let's do that now. Or the square root of, I'll put my alpha lock on here, the square root and then of. and we click enter. Don't be fooled by this. Then finally we click, uh, we scroll over and click disp and just d instead of the square root of d. So this will show the square root of d squared. Okay, now let's test out our formula. We click second quit and then program exec heron. Okay. Now let's try a more complex triangle. How about a 7, 24, 25 right triangle? So this uh, area should be 7 times 12 or 7 times 24 divided by 2, 84, right? 7, uh, B is 24, C is 25. 
and we have our area as 84 or the square root of 7056 and we are done. Thanks for watching this Axon Files video and be sure to check out some of our other videos. Goodbye for now.